my gosh. I'm so glad that I've graduated from breaking my camera in my last video to falling in love with my new camera in this video. Look at the world. Look at what the world is doing sometimes. Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel, unless you've never seen me before. In that case, hi, my name is Jasmine, and I'm really excited about this new camera. Today I'm going to be filming the very long-anticipated music business video. If you don't know this about me, then you probably have never seen me before because I never shut the hell up about studying music business. But I study music business. I am absolutely in love with what I study and I talk about it all the time. So a lot of my viewers have been asking a lot of questions about music business, what it entails, how I got into it, and other information that they wanted to know. So I decided I'm gonna start incorporating what I study into my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm just going to kind of explain the world of music business in the industry. And then I also went on Instagram a few weeks ago because I was really busy and asked you guys to send me your questions about music business and I'm going to answer them all in this video as well. Before I get started, I do just wanna say this video is just going to be about, is it like echoey in here? Yeah, and you didn't fix it. Thanks for that. This video is specifically going to be just about studying music business and things about getting into the industry and the industry as a job. But later down the road, I'm probably going to film videos that center more around the questions you have about what you learn once you're in the industry. Because I noticed when I was going through my Instagram, I got a lot of people asking me things like, how does an artist choose which song goes on their album? Or is it true that blank, blank, and blank when you're in the music industry, stuff like that. Later down the road, I'll probably be filming more videos like that that are more like fun and informational. This one is just like the basics because I get these questions a lot. So with all that being said, I'm ready to go. Hope you're ready to go. Let's learn about music business. So I'm gonna start this video off by talking about how I got into music business, what I'm studying and things like that. This will probably be kind of brief, but I just need to preface this somehow. I do get the question a lot of where I go to school because a lot of you guys know that I live in Indianapolis and a lot of people are like, wait, where do you go to school? I've never seen a school in Indianapolis that does music business. I actually study with the Berklee College of Music, which is located in Boston, Massachusetts, but I do online school and everything that I do is on Zoom and on the computer, so I don't have to live in Boston. So basically my major is music business, which is what this video is all about. I'm gonna kind of go into what that means and what that is, but that's my major and I have a focus in artist management. A lot of people asked me how I reached this decision because I did used to study journalism and film, Oh, which was kind of a low point in my life. That's really not what I wanted to do with my life. And I convinced myself I wanted to do it so bad because I just wanted to be that bitch. So I ended up taking a gap semester. And while I was doing that, I had lots of conversations with my friends and family and actually a friend I have who studies entertainment journalism about how I really want to do something in the music and entertainment industry, but I wasn't sure where to go with it. And in talking to these people, I realized that I really love the entertainment industry, organization, stuff, being a part of a team and all those kinds of things and everything that I'm really interested really really pointed towards being in the music industry, specifically music management. I do understand that online school is definitely not for everyone, but it really, really works with my life right now and I like it like that. I do know that a lot of you have more questions about studying music business and stuff, so I'll answer those later when I get to the Instagram part. For now, I want to move on and talk a little bit about the music industry slash the entertainment industry because one of the most common questions people ask when they find out what I study is like, oh, what can you do with that degree? What kind of stuff is there to do in the music business. Let me tell you, there's a lot. So much so that I'm probably not even going to be able to cover every single thing in this video. So what kind of positions are there in the music industry? Well, the top ones slash the main ones are gonna be music producing, PR agents and publicists, artist managers, tour managers, booking agents, entertainment lawyers, songwriters, music publishers, social media managers, concert promoters, and then there's a bunch of other little stuff that's not necessarily music business, but still belongs in the industry. And we're gonna talk about those in a second. But right now I'm gonna kind of give you a little rundown of all of the things that I just listed. So a music producer, gonna try and keep these short and sweet. Music producers basically just put together sound recordings and often write, arrange, and produce music for artists and bands. Music producing is a little bit deeper than that and a little bit more complicated, but 
but that's just the basic gist of it. PR agents and publicists. PR agents and publicists do things like working to get clients like artists and bands exposure in the media. They get them in front of decision makers, they get them jobs. So say you were a publicist, you would be using your clients like demos if they're singing and headshots and stuff like that to go and present them in front of people who can give your client a job or a gig or an opportunity, stuff like that. You're working to make sure that they have work. But then if you're working with someone who's really well established and like successful, then instead of like trying to find them jobs, you would also be negotiating their jobs. Agents and publicists also often handle all types of media. So like social media, TV, radio, things like that. And if stuff is going around affecting your artist or band's image, you have to take care of that too. Negative media, which you can only imagine how much there is of that in this day and age. Artist managers. Artist managers are basically the middle man. Well, why are we giving credit to men? The middle person. Artist managers are the middle person between an artist and the rest of the team that works with that artist. So an artist manager is essentially the CEO of this artist and the business in general. So if you're thinking of a musician or band as a business, like their career is your business, the artist manager is the CEO of that business. It's an artist manager's job to turn the artist slash band's overall vision and career goals into a reality or create a plan of action to obtain that reality. So an artist manager is going to choose songs that go on albums or that are released. They're going to plan tours, marketing strategies. They're involved in every single corner, nook and cranny of an artist or band's career. And like I said, are there to help them reach their goals and achieve success. My belt is not done, ignore that. Tour managers. Tour managers basically oversee the entire tour process. Kind of like an artist manager manager is the middle person of an artist's career, the tour manager is the middle person or CEO of an entire tour. So they'll make sure that the tour is properly financed, they would book travel accommodations, make sure everything is where it needs to be and everyone has everything they need to go on tour. They deal with every single person's personal issues, which is insane because a tour crew is literally huge. Like you have the artist and the band and all the people in the artist team, so all their hairstylists, makeup artists, security, merch teams, lighting, stage setup, personal assistants, all of those people, the tour manager has to make sure that they're all on track and have what they need and that everything is running smoothly. So if something goes wrong, the tour manager has to be there to troubleshoot and make sure that it doesn't go wrong anymore. Booking agents. Booking agents are responsible for coordinating appearances and performances for artists and bands. So they spend their time searching for talent, talent scouting, maybe for an opening act, things like that. They identify potential shows and like gigs for artists and bands and they negotiate contracts for them as well when it comes to those shows and performances and booking agents typically work under an agency like a talent agency. Social media managers. Social media managers schedule and draft posts for social media platforms for artists and bands. They engage with fans as the artist on these different social media platforms. They keep the platforms updated, make sure they look on brand for that artist and they also have to come up with new and creative initiatives consistently to keep that artist's engagement up to make sure that their social media is performing well. A lot of you probably already know this but if you don't I'm so sorry to break your heart. Most of the time when you're interacting with your favorite celebrity on social media it's probably their social media manager. Like maybe eight times out of ten it's not gonna be them even if it really <laughs> seems like it. That's the job of a social media manager to create like a voice and a brand for that particular artist or band and to really sell it on their platforms so that their engagement is flowing, everything looks nice and cohesive. Songwriters slash music publishers. Songwriting, pretty self-explanatory. You write songs for artists and bands and then you get paid when they record your song that you wrote. This field of work is pretty pretty competitive, but if you're really, really good at making up lyrics, then maybe it's for you. Maybe it's the thing for you. Music publishers are the ones that are gonna help get your song that you wrote in front of big influential people. And then both people, music publishers and songwriters, get paid a percentage of royalties off of the songs that you write and publish. So those are some of the basic positions that you learn about and that revolve around the music business. But there are many, many, many other things that go 
into making a successful career of an artist or band. There's some other jobs that aren't necessarily music business degree related, but are still available as like normal jobs, but could also be applied to the music industry, such as music journalism, where you're a journalist, but you write about music, artists, interview artists, and things like that. You know, like those fun little segments you see on YouTube where celebrities are playing games with interviewers, that kind of thing. Then you have entertainment lawyers who are the people who are involved with artist contracts, recording contracts. And then you also have like personal assistants. Then you have people like photographers and graphic designers who are really, really important in the music business. Then you have people like makeup artists and stylists. Lots of information to be retained, but we're not done yet. Let's talk about the pros and cons of being in the music industry. A lot of people do ask me with what I've learned so far, what I would say the pros and cons are of going into this job field. So I thought that would be a great little section to put in here before I start answering more specific questions. So in my personal opinion, here are some of the pros of getting involved in the music industry. So the pros in my opinion would be the money, of course. This isn't really set in stone in the beginning, but if you get into the industry and you're actually successful, obviously you're going to make a lot of money. But you could also easily make that into a con in some way, at least half of it, because a lot of times the money you're making in these jobs is going to be dependent on something else because a lot of times with these jobs you're going to be getting paid percentages of things that you contribute to and it's all going to depend on the success of your work and the artist you're working with's work if you're working with an artist and they're making bank and you get a cut of that because you're helping them be successful then that's great another pro is travel for me personally traveling a lot is a pro i can easily see how someone else would think this is a con if you don't like constantly moving around because when you're working in this industry you're going to be everywhere all over the place and to me that's a pro because I love to travel and see new places and I like the idea of being called to different places for work instead of just being in one area all the time another pro is networking meeting new people the connections that you're going to make when you're in the industry you will constantly meet all kinds of new people and network with all kinds of new people. I feel like all of these pros could be turned into a con depending on who you are, but for me, it's a pro. And that kind of goes along with my next pro, which is just cool opportunities in general. When you work in this field and you're meeting so many people, you're going to be able to make cool experiences and opportunities for other people who might not be able to. To me, that's one of my favorite parts. I always tell people like one of the main reasons why I wanted to do music business is because I love but making experiences for other people. I love music because of what it does for other people and how it brings people together. So I think one of the pros for me, if not the biggest, is the cool opportunities and opportunities to give back that there is. I just wanna make people happy. And then also kind of bouncing off of that, another pro would just be the passion for making music and art in general. I think having that as a job, even though it is a job, is still really cool that at the end of the day, no matter what job you're doing, we all have the same goal in this industry of success for the artist and giving back to the fans. Well, a lot of people in the industry these days just care about making money. But if you're doing it for the right reasons, this is a pro. But then of course, there is some cons. I could probably sit here and talk about the negative sides of it forever, but I'm not going to. The first thing I'd say is the commitment. This job is very time consuming. Long, long hours, the kind of job you have where your life is a job. Like there isn't really any type of pause or like off season, really. It's kind of just constant work. You're pretty much married to your work. You have to be really, really good at keeping up, always working and being under a fast paced high pressure environment. Another con is how competitive the industry is. Really, really hard to get up there and make it. You have to be really driven, really, really creative. You have to offer things that maybe other people can't or won't. And also bouncing off of that, you also have to be able to take a lot of criticism all the time. Cause when you're contributing to projects and things like that, people are always going to have bad things to say about the job you're doing or the client that you're working with. Another con I'd say is the reality of the behind the scenes. When you're working in the industry, you have to be ready for the reality of the industry. It can be a really dark place. I think part of the reason I want to do music business so bad is to kind of change the course of that. I am so tired of like these white men, these white money hungry, power hungry men abusing artists who just want to sing because they want some money. So I think getting involved with the industry is definitely an eye opener. You're going to see all of the reality of how things go behind the scenes for celebrities and it's going to take away a little bit of that magic. You just have to be ready to see how things really are and come face to face with the fact that it's a job. I just feel like when a lot of people talk about the music industry, they don't talk enough.
enough about how grueling it can be when you do get into it. And I am sure 100% that there's many, many more pros and many, many more cons. So now that I've kind of introduced my role in all of this, I'm going to answer more specific questions now that came directly from Instagram from you guys. So the first question says, do you learn about the industry slash management slash marketing or music itself? When you study music business, a lot of things are going to just revolve around what you choose to study, like what classes you pick. Like if you're gonna be a music producer, you absolutely have to learn about like actual music itself and like the actual fundamentals of making music rather than the music business. In some cases, you don't need to learn about music itself. And in some cases you need to learn about both. It really just depends on what you're going to do. I can also say that for me though, for my music business degree, I have to take a music theory class, which is music itself. Someone said, did studying music business change your view on your favorite artist or ruin the experience if you know what I mean? I would say that so far with what I've learned, it really truly, truly 100% has changed my view on all my favorite artists and music in general, but it hasn't like ruined it for me. Like, yes, it's a huge reality check, but at the same time, there's some things that I already knew and it's more just a better understanding of how things work. And it's very different now, but not in like this totally horrible way. Someone said, would it be helpful to study music business if I sing? Absolutely, there's people in my like Zoom classes and that go to school with me who are like artists and like band members themselves who are studying music business to help their careers. And it's actually a really, really good thing, especially independent ones to study music business because then you completely understand the logistics of what's going on in your career yourself. So good to understand contracts and royalties and how much money you make and why you make that much money, marketing tactics, all those things are gonna be super, super helpful. So even if if you don't go to school for it, maybe still just like look into music business type of things and learn about them. Someone said, being real, how tough is it to get into the industry? Am I taking a long shot choosing this career? I definitely think it is difficult. Like I said earlier, very competitive field. I wouldn't say it's a long shot because if you're truly, truly passionate and dedicated to that, then you'll get somewhere. I think it's important to remember that the industry is so big that there's so many doors to be opened. So my biggest advice for that would be to have a backup plan. Someone said, is it easy or stressful? Definitely not easy. I will admit that I didn't think music business was gonna be as, as hard as it is. There's so much to learn and know. So I would say it's a little bit stressful, but once again, if you mean it, you mean it. Someone said, does it require you to move to New York or LA to be where the action is? I think this definitely depends on what you wanna do in the industry. Mm, the forefront of my mind is saying yes. If you're going to be really successful in this job, you have to live somewhere where there's artists and action going on. If you live in a tiny town in the middle of nowhere, it's gonna be really hard to find people to work with and network with. And like I said, this job requires a lot of travel. So if you're really dedicated to it, you have to be able to make the commitment of living somewhere where you can work. Someone said, can I still go to community college and then transfer to music business? Absolutely, 100%. That's actually probably a really good idea, especially if you're a little bit unsure about music business or you don't know where you wanna go with it. It might be a really, really good idea to go to community college and get some gen eds out of the way, like your math credits or history credits, just like general college credits out of the way, and then take those and transfer them to wherever you go after that with your actual major. I think that's absolutely a good idea if that's what you're thinking about doing. Someone said, what exactly do you do? And I think they're referring to like what I do in school. So I'm going to try and give you guys like a master checklist of some of the stuff that I've been learning about while I'm in school slash what I'm going to learn about. So here are some of the things that you learn about slash we'll talk about if you go into music business specifically. Business management, legal aspects in music, finance in music, marketing, operations of recording companies, music publishing, positions such as agents, managers, and attorneys, concerts and touring, music promotions, fan relationship, venue management, copyright law, creative entrepreneurship, music licensing, music supervision, branding, royalties, and music terminology. So those are just like some of the basics of the things that you learn when you're studying music business. You're gonna learn a lot about business in general and how it applies to the music industry. A lot of the stuff that I do in my classes is very handy 
hands-on. A lot of times we have like case scenarios where the professor will set up like an imaginary scenario. Say they make up a fake celebrity who has an issue with her contract and they send it to you because you're studying music business and then you're supposed to like pretend that you're this industry person and send them back an email with helpful advice on how to read a contract like that. So a lot of it is very like hands-on and you really have to know what you're learning and be able to convey it back. So those were all the questions that I'm going to be answering today about music business. I really, really did enjoy this video and kind of sharing some of the stuff that you guys wanted to know with you. If you have any suggestions for things you wanna see related to the industry, music and entertainment, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and submitting all your questions about music business. If you have any more questions that maybe I didn't answer, please feel free to leave them in a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe while you're down there. Check out my description box for my social media. Find me on Twitter and Instagram. I hope you're all doing amazing. The weather is changing if you live in a state where the weather changes. So let's all be grateful for spring coming up. Reset, clean things out, move forward, enjoy the sunshine. And I will see you all in my next video.